All right, people, welcome back to Daily Duel. So today is Tuesday, and that means we are using Teller Knight. Except I'm using just a, a, a version that's a little bit more competitive. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm just going to go ahead and summon Sham and burn you. Simple as that. I uh, know, number generation needs to be taken into consideration, but I wanted to make the deck just a little bit more competitive. So we're going to go ahead and try that out. Uh, and I will be doing kind of like a, a quick little pseudo deck profile. Uh, stating the things that I like, what I don't like, and, you know, my various texts. But, uh, yeah, we're gonna try this out. So, it's the last day of, uh, spring break, which kinda sucks, you know. Spring break is over, heading back to college this Tuesday, so. I guess I'll be going back and talking about my days, so that's good. And this week was okay when it came to, uh, you know, not being able to, you know, talk about my days, you know. Especially, you know, a Cle video where it's like, oh, let's just... Try a crappy, crappy, crappy version of Klee. So tomorrow we're gonna do a better version, especially with you know Vanity's and Skill Drain. Like Skill Drain, that uh, uh, was still at three. Ooh, mirror match. Yeah, <laughs> that mirror match though. No, oh, that's fine. That mirror the match. So did you get the neb? Because I didn't get the neb. So if you got the neb, then you're gonna be in a much better spot than me. So the thing is, I, I could. No, you got the Altair. All right. But I want you to kill my Sham. I want you to kill my Sham so I can get in the graveyard so I can go Altair or summon Sham, burn you, and then make a level chain detach and then send the nap. So then, you know, I'm still in the duel. But, uh... Your play was kind of odd. I'm assuming that you're going to go into level chain because it didn't look like you opened it. Because then you opened up the nap and you wouldn't have went to the Altair. You know? No, you're going to kill me first. That's fine. Well, if you're going to kill me first, then I'm going to go ahead and bottomless whoever you summon. Especially if it's a level chain. Yeah, Tuesday, I, I'm going back, I'm going back, right now it's like 6 o'clock in the morning, 6 o'clock in the morning, I wonder, I wonder if this is a Nova and he's just going to keep his field like this, that's, that's, that's what I'm curious about, or is he going to, you know, attempt to exceed in ATC, either way I'm okay, but I'm just kind of curious, no, he's just going to leave it like that, well, you're gonna leave it like that, and I know it's a Nova, so I'm gonna go ahead and MST it during the end phase. It's during your end phase, so there's no chaining. Oh, it's a Phoenix chain. Alright. I thought maybe it was a Nova. I thought we were gonna maybe talk. Unuk. Well, Unuk is great. Unuk is exactly what I need, actually. The question is, do I want to do that play? Yeah, yeah. I wanna do that play because I wanna save my Deneb. Yeah, I'm gonna do that play. I'm going to summon a nuke. Nuke, go ahead and drop me the neb. Uh, now both of them are in there. I know, you saw that card for a split second, you saw that card. Uh, actually, personally, I like that card. And I will over go over that card uh, when I do the deck profile at the end. Who do I kill? Well, the thing is, if I kill the neb, I mean, if I, if I kill Altair, he can't go Altair or summon Altair, because Altair can't summon Altair, but if I can kill Vega, he can go, alright, Another Altair, summon that Vega back, so I think Altair would be the better kill. Because right now, Vega really can't do anything. You got the Honest? Play the Honest. Play the Honest. I don't even care. So personally, I don't like the Honest. I, I feel like it's slow. Really slow. But, hey, you had it? Play it. I already got, I already got all my use out of my Unuk, so... That's all I cared about. So I'm guessing you're gonna just oh you you top back the rota all right. So I'm guessing you're gonna go rota search for the neb summon the neb right. Well as soon as you summon that demo and bottomless him. Yes you get to search but at least the neb's not in the graveyard anymore. So that's the important part. The mirror match though. No he wants another Vega. Okay. Didn't see that coming at all. And you're just gonna summon the Vega. Vega is going to activate and summon. Serious. Are you serious? You're summoning serious? Oh, that's fine. It really looks like he's just going for damage. It looks like he's just trying to wrap this duel up with damage, but he's not doing Teller Knight plays. 
which is weird. It really is just weird. Then I see those three to Deltaros. That's fine. Can't respond to that. Like, why didn't you search for the neb? I don't know why you didn't wrote a search for the neb. Someone didn't have to search, you know? I don't know why you didn't. I, I don't know your place. This may be a Tonight Mirror match, which are really catching me off guard right now. Deltaros, you catch, blow up. I will chain. Summon Neb to Neb. Really catching me off guard right now. Yep. So I'm gonna search for Vega. I'll survive this turn. So I'll go Vega, Altair, search for Neb, XE into Triver. Put everything back and pick something out of your hand. You only have two cards left in your hand. So, And then I'll pick out one of them so you have one card left in your hand. I'll get my bottomless back to my hand, so I can bottomless whoever you summon again, you know, since I can't, I couldn't activate bottomless on Deltaros, which is totally fun, totally fun. I'm low on life points, but at least I'll be up on resources. Yeah. You know, he's playing honest, I'm not, so, yeah. I am playing like, you know, the Phoenix Trains and the Mirror Forces, though, you know. I kind of sat there and I debated, and I was just like, well, honest coming just protects me from one attack, while, you know, Mirror Force, that's just... You know. There's that one vanities. Yes, this is updated to uh the newest list, so So we'll go ahead and go summon Bega. But I hope I hope that's an effect veiler in your hand. Because I'm literally about to just turn this door around. Life points don't mean shit. I'm not and I haven't even seen you run Sham either, so even though Sham Sham in in Cowboy, you know, that can again, but right now if I can get so up on resources on you and just completely outplay you and make it to the point where you can't come back into this duel, then I can whittle down your life points. We'll go ahead and go into Triv. 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 Activate Triv. Detach the Neb. Give me something from your hand. Lance, oh, okay, well you still have Vega, so you could have lanced anything I tried to bottom with anyway. And now I have Vanities too, like, I think I might have just won this duel, especially with Vanities. Despite it being at one number generator, like, here, have it. I'm like, okay, thank you. It's great for the mirror match, so it's very helpful right now. And so I'm still debating on it. I got bottom list too, and Shem. Really, no reason to go <clears throat> into uh, into uh, diamond. Say, did you get another honest? Yeah, you did. You top decked into a motherfucking honest. Are you shitting me? Or did you top deck into a lance? Oh, I can't stop that. I can be like honest. Like, are you shitting me? Wow, nice top deck. The top deck of the century, people. Top deck of the motherfucking century. He should have lost that. He should have lost that, but he top decked into the fucking on. I picked the wrong card out of his hand. If I would have picked the Vega, I would have been fine. Picked the wrong card out, so he got lucky with that. And he top decked into an honest? Like, you're just a lucky motherfucker. You should have lost that duel. You should have straight up lost that duel. You got lucky. It's okay, though. We'll go ahead and get another duel in. Bear back. Alright, so I guess they're like, hey, Daniel, you're really talking shit about that honest. Not liking that honest. So, well, now what you gotta say? Absolutely nothing. <laughs> Absolutely nothing. I was wrong. I was wrong. Maybe I should put him in. I, you know, we'll go over it when we go over the deck profile. But yeah, <laughs> top deck the fuck out of that honest. He hit me with honest twice. Like two honest, I still think it's too much. I think one should be enough, but two, it's kind of crazy. Top deck right into it. Like damn. I had the bottomless, couldn't bottomless. I had the, I had the vanities that couldn't be, and he's just like. Honest, like, of course. <laughs> I've never seen, the top deckage was so strong. That's fine. So strong. You're just gonna run over my, uh, Nunuk, that's fine.
Uh, it's all morning. All right. Oh, well, there you go. You got that one vanities? No. All right. You want to get him? No. Okay. Search me for a Vega. Alright. Go ahead and go into Delteros. Because Trev's not really useful right now. Of course. I had the Solemn Warning. You have the Solemn Warning. Number generator, though. Number generator, though. Of course. It was like, I was like, hey, I do the Solemn Warning. He's like, I do it too. Like, oh, okay. Another MST. Alright. Ah, this is getting annoying. Say, I'm, I don't want to lose to fucking luck. Like, are you fucking shaming me? Fucking luck. Like, this man's getting super lucky. I'm not gonna lose to fucking performer palace. Like, hello? Now I'm probably gonna triv. Yeah, I'm gonna triv. Triv is best right now. Like, holy shit. Spam, though. Like, am I seriously gonna lose to luck? I'm like, not losing to luck. Oh yeah, I'm all out fucking Altair by fucking, I mean, Deltaros got fucking warning, warnings! No bottomless, nothing, no, nothing, but warning, yep. And then he MSTs my warning after he MSTs, so I'm like, I'm sorry, you, you opened up pretty lucky, but I'm still gonna fuck you up. Yeah, you don't need that. Sucks that I don't have any back row though. And then Trevor, even if he goes summon his wolf and crashes into me, at least Trevor will, you know, get the effect and I can summon one from my graveyard, so. So there's only one card in his hand I don't know. Alright, you're gonna summon wolf. No, two. Two. You're just gonna crash you're gonna come a card into me. That's fine, but I'm still gonna get Trevor effect. Yes. Hmm. What do I want for my graveyard? I want Altair. And I'll see. <laughs> yeah, fuck your luck. We're gonna get another duel one. Alright, bear back. Alright. No more luck from people, alright? See, it's sometimes like this. I'm looking at the deck and I'm like, God, this looks inconsistent. But then sometimes you open up like this and it's just like, wow. Alright, give me you. My opponent has no extra deck, so I'm assuming Cleese. Maybe. Is it Cleese? Is it Cleebola? Go ahead and summon Unuk. I'm pretty much set up at this point. I'm gonna drop me that Deneb. And he's either using Cleese or something Saki. Yeah. There's no reason why you shouldn't have an extra deck. Vanity's is looking real nice, especially at one. I'll take it. I wonder if it really is Cleese. If it's something sacky like fucking like, like fucking like Exodia or something, well, at least the Vandies will stop his, uh, you know, his battle faders. There's no reason why you shouldn't have an extra deck. Terraforming. Is it Monarchs? It's Monarchs. It's Monarchs. No, it's Aromas. Aromas with no extra deck. 
Oh, okay, I guess. Why? Why no extra? I'm so confused why you don't have an extra deck. So fucking confused. fucking confused. I'm sitting here just wondering like, why? That's fine. Wait, it returns it to the hand? Oh, that's so bad. I thought it destroyed it. Oh, that's so bad. Oh, rumors are so... Ugh. Like, effects that they should have that are, that are supposed to be good aren't good. Like, why doesn't that say destroy this better? Why doesn't this say fucking... Just, just put the toolbox in. Just put the toolbox in. Like... <sighs> Are you shitting me? They're there's they're called staple exceeds for a reason. Whatever rank that you do and whatever rank that you can do in your deck, you just put those toolboxes in the extra. I mean, I'm not gonna tell you how to do your Yu Gi Oh, but seriously, I'm just sitting here like, you know, you know how less intimidating it is for you not to have an extra deck. Like, why doesn't this say destroy? Why doesn't this say destroy spell trap? Why does that fucking one say? Why didn't they say destroy the monster? Why did it have to change the position? Like, why did they make Aroma so so nerfed? I don't know. I don't know. Ah, <sighs> like they 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 kind of make this deck so much stronger. Whatever. So what is this like a like the poison of the old man? Like, you guys saw webcam duels where I lost to him with uh, the Red Eyes Evil, because I, 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 this should tell you, I, I took that deck. I, I made it less about Doom Shaman, more about Red Eyes, because it was clearly way too much about Doom Shaman, you know, to the point where it was like borderline just super vice with Red Eyes thrown in, which is much more cloggy engine than just running my swings and, and stuff like that. <clears throat> uh, anyway, uh, you know, I'm, I didn't run any back row, I didn't have any plucking play. I'm going to show you, the Teller Knights are just naturally just a str much stronger deck than, you know, Aroma, especially with no extra deck, like, like sir, I don't even know what you're doing. You're not a felt spell. What does it say? Does it have any, like, graveyard effect? Do any room on your controls in the Oh, no. Let's destroy your felt spell. You don't, you don't, you don't need it. Wow, that's just, that's actually just you know straight up permanent. Hey, you got something? All right. Sit down. It's just a vanity's probably won't serve much purpose unless he starts going for um. No fire, but really, like, oh, if you're getting light points, target the spell, trap the control, or return it to the hand. Like, why? What to the hand? Why not? Why not destroy it? Why? Like, they couldn't just make it so it'd be destroyed instead? Like, is it that, is it, is it so hard to give Roma something, de some decent effects? Because God, they have no bite. God, they have no bite. Oh, well, this is my tech, and uh, pretty much I win. Because there's just no way in fuck you're going to be able to get over a 3,000 beater who is unaffected by your card effects. Straight up. That includes your back row too? Like, oh my god, you're 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 fucked. You're fucked. Get rid of that. I don't even care. What is it? Fucking poison old man, fucking draining shield? Oh, you're actually running back row. Trap 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 cold nightmare. Oh. So what is that, like a call to haunted or something? See, I'm gonna talk about this when I do the deck profile, right after this duel. Like, once this duel is over, I do the deck profile, yep. See? You have no bite! Like I said, even then, the, even the webcam duel, when he opened up with the most busted play you could do, which is Lone Fire, Lone Fire, Lone Fire, something else, and then Soul Charge, all the Lone Fires back, and still, you know, 
that was still really unimpressive because what he was summoning with the aromas weren't even that strong or that impressive. You know, they're, they're monsters. Level six, like, oh, I gained all this attack and and I got pierce and you know, one of them like bounces a spell and trap. Ooh, okay. One of them turns the battle position. Ooh, like how come you don't destroy a spell trap? How come you don't destroy the monster? You know, freaking Fire Fist did it. How come you can't do it? Aren't you supposed to be the newer deck? Aren't you supposed to be the stronger deck? Like, that's booty. It's booty. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and go uh, to the deck profile and discuss it with you guys and tell me if you guys have any uh, advice for it. So, uh, be right back. All right, we're back and here is the deck. So, I'm gonna go quickly over it and, you know, uh, talk about my text and stuff like that. So, uh, triple, all tie in. Triple the net. I'm probably the only player, Town Knight player in the world that's playing three Vega. You know, some player play, some people are playing two, some people are playing one. I personally think three because I'm worried about the consistency of the deck. And if I don't, you know, open up with either something to get the Neb in the graveyard or the Neb itself, then Vega is easy access. So if I have any other Town Knight, like, you know, for example, if I open up Vega and Shem, I can at least go, all right, Vega, Shem, find your 4,000, XC, Low Owl Chain, Detach. You know, we got Triple Call of Hunts and Triple Oasis. So. Once Deneb is in the game, once we get the Deneb ball rolling, we can get into the duel. So that's the one of the reasons why I want to triple Vega. Uh, to help with the consistency, also, Vega allows you to go into more Deltrusses and more trips. And, you know, the deck is very powerful when it comes to that. So, there you go. Uh, I probably won't be changing that. Personally, I like the consistency. And having, not having the consistency worries me. Um, I'm running two Unuk. Uh, it's at three, because, I, like I said, consistency. But I was like, oh, well, it might get kind of cloggy. Uh, and, uh, I wanted to run other things besides the nukes. Uh, you know, Unuk has pretty much two drops. Drop the Neneb? Alright, you drop the Neneb? Alright, drop the Sham. Alright, you drop the Sham, then you don't need to drop anything else. You're just 18 meter, and I may use you as an XC material at some point in the duel, but, yeah. So, I think Unu two Unuks is, uh, fun. Especially if, you know, with the Vega come have me covered with the level chain. Yeah. And one Sham. Sham wins duels, you know. Just that little bit. That's all you need, so... Uh, I was wrong. I was wrong. I didn't run Sham. I didn't think he was good. He's fine. He's fine. I burned for a thousand. You know, I'm the one. I was the guy who was sitting here preaching about how good Cowboys, Cowboy, you should have him in your toolbox. Cowboy wins games. Yet I wasn't running Sham, who, you know, combined. Literally, I can go, all right, well, how much life? You got 1,800 left? I can literally go, all right, Altair, Sham, thousand, XE, Cowboy, Detach, Burn, game. You know, so, you know, that, that's almost 2,000 damage. That's almost a fourth of your life points that I can easily do. So, uh, I, one Sham is totally decent in this deck and you know seeing some people take it out and just like you know what sham wins duels you know uh some decks are running that ritual ritual card because it can deal with unicorn i think i think that's the reason but you know if you have a problem with unicorn you can literally just go all right i'll tire summon whoever and then go into like a crazy box so there you go i don't really think that you need ritual for that you know but it may be a problem in the upcoming future with um if I ever take this to a tournament and there's Necros and they, you know, they lock me, then I might have to play Ritual, because, you know, but it depends on who they summon, you know. Could they summon, like, something really powerful with it and I can't get over it straight up, then I'm fucked. But, you know, at least Ritual can go up to a 24 beater by himself, so he can take out, he can Kamikaze with the Unicorn, he can uh, run over the, I forgot that little warrior guy, the Ritual guy, 2300 defense, I forgot his name. Whatever, you know what I'm talking about. But, try it now. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm ever going to take this to a tournament and make it competitive, but I just wanted to make it a little bit stronger and, you know, less, really less fun and gimmicky, more of a serious deck, you know, trying to actually win. So, there we go, those are monsters. Uh, monster count is 12. It's a little bit higher than regular Tower Knights. Tower Knights usually run like 10, but hey. Alright, next, Triple Road, of course. Uh, two pots, because pots get kind of cloggy, you know, and I don't want to pot into a pot, so, you know, the magical number is 2, even when it went down to 2. Two is fine, you know. When it went to three, I don't think anybody really plays three. Two, you know, unless you're using some super slow deck like you know, like volcanics, or you're getting, you know, you're being really sacky, or you're running Cleese. I think maybe Cleese run three, but maybe I think they run two. Cause sometimes they pendulum summon, but uh, especially now they may cut down the pots, especially now since you know sacrifice is at uh, uh, one, because you know. Usually you would go like, oh, pot, so you know, you know, put my pendulum zone, search for sacrifice, summon, quit, but now since it's that one, I don't know, I don't know, I'll have to see, you know, uh, I know, I, th I think the cleaves that I'm running are still running triple pot just because of the consistency, I want to make sure it's the consistency, I'm all about consistency, so, there you go, but, uh, yeah, double pot, triple MST, destroy back row, you know, even, uh, even in this uh, newer format, being able to have them spaces and, you know, clear out, you know, 
even snipe out things just to keep it out of your way if your plays it's totally fine mst i still love you uh the tech card i was running was the two alphas because you pretty much saw when i equipped my deltaros with alpha i'm three thousand monster you can't touch me like it's very powerful but then i started to think and i was like well you know for example if i ever go against like you know like necros they could just simply just all right summon the um the trash and banish my alpha and then run over my deltaros so you know it's not foolproof you know and definitely losing to that that duel against that uh Tolerite mirror match where he sacked the shit out of me with honest yeah maybe i should just put the two honest so i'm probably gonna take this out because it's it's cute it's a fairly decent card but uh pretty much uh if it was that good Tolerance would be running it and they don't so i'm gonna go ahead and put the double on us so just make sure, because also with Triv only being 2100 and people simply just being like, oh, I can get over 2100 and running my ass over. So, you know, at least if they go attack and I can go, all right, honest, you're dead. And then next time I can just be like, all right, now pick something else out of your hand. So there we go. I'm the two honest. Uh, yeah. So spell cap down to eight. Shells aren't, you know, that prevalent right now. So there we go. Not a big fan of, you know, uh, Regeke. Not really. I, I feel like Regeke is too slow. You know, if I'm going to regeke, I might as well mirror force you, because by that time it's way too slow, you know. And if there's anything that I want to wipe you, I could just make a trip and bounce you instead. So, uh, regeke is too slow, and uh, soul charge isn't necessary. I, I was noticing that when I was running in the front back, I was like, soul charge isn't really necessary. Uh, what else card is that one? Snatch those banned, and uh, Book of Moon's kind of like a last ditch effort. If there's other things that I want to run over Book of Moon, then I don't run Book of Moon. It's simple as that. So... Uh, yeah, there we go. So, there's the spells. Traps, triple call of the haunted, triple oasis. Uh, some decks are taking oasis, but I feel like, you know, being able to just, you know, continue your plays, get back your plays, uh, with oasis and call at three, I mean, that's just a, that's a godsend. So, I mean, I'm gonna use this godsend because God is just so good, you know, so good. Uh, of course, triple nova. I actually have these. I actually have these and real life and these. I pretty much have the fun deck made. I just need to, I wanted to make it a little bit more, uh, you know, structured and competitive. So, uh, there you go. I do not have the vanities. I don't have the vanities, so I'd probably have to pick one up, but it's cheap. You know, I, I bet I could literally go down to my fucking college and be like, hey, who has, you know, who, who's running triple vanities? All right, vanities went down to one. You want to sell me one of your vanities for like, what, two, three dollars? It's as simple as that. You might as well just give me it. <laughs> it's not like you're going to play it, right? So, that's easy. Uh, but, uh. Triple Fiendish Chain, of course. Fiendish Chain, Fiendish Chain is great, this format. Uh, you know, it's it's actually better than Breakthrough Skill because of uh, going against Necros because you can go, like, attack, and if they go, like, um, Valk, you can go, like, all right, Fiendish Chain a monster, stop my attack. You know, and then the battle phase doesn't end, and you can attack with every other monster, but Fiendish Chain is really good in this deck because, you know, I can go Fiendish Chain the monster, and then make a trip, and then bounce the Fiendish Chain back. It's kind of like what I did with uh, Constellar Pleiades back when I ran Constellars. So, you know, I just go from one set of stars to the other, but, hey, one solemn morning, you know, solemn morning is such a powerful card, and I you know I didn't think it should go up any higher than one, but God, I still think it's just so good. You know, I'll pay two thousand light points to go ahead and just hit you with the warning, no doubt. Uh, bottomless, um, still debating, debating on how good Bottomless is. Uh, as you saw in that total nightmare match, it wasn't that good, but you know, it's good against Cleese. You know, Cleese go, you know, pendulum summon a whole bunch, you go bottomless, and you're like, yeah, you know, and uh, uh, it's decent against other decks, you know. It's decent against Necros. It's 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 a it's a it's a decent card, you know. If I can if I'm mirror match, I bottomless that Deneb, hey they're you know, they may get that search, but they're behind and Deneb can't search for Deneb, so they're gonna be snuggling for a little while. My phone is going off, I don't know why. It's like six twenty in the morning, so what the fuck? The one vanity, you know, at one it's still at this point it's a staple. Like it's literally part of the Trinity. You know. It well, oh, well it was the Fantastic Four, so I guess uh I guess now it's whatever five. What's a group of five? What's a group of five? I don't know. What's a group of five? I don't know. But uh, as you can say, I'm not running the five. You know, Trento. I don't want to Trento my own monsters. That's that's how I feel. I, if I have established board, I won't Trento. So if I want to, if I want to wipe, if I want to get rid of your monsters, I'd rather much much matter mirror force you. So that's the reason why I'm not running Trento. And Compulse isn't good. This format. It's like not, not, not what we comp Compulse. What? What? Necros? No. Don't do that. No. What, Compulse Cleese? No. Burning Abyss? Yeah, unless you're Compulsing Dante. So, uh, yeah, there we go. So, uh, and then, uh, Triple Mirror Force. I, I, I'm full on Mirror Force, this format. Yeah, I definitely, I can see the goodness of Mirror Force, you know. Even, even if you're going against, like, Cleese or, uh, 
or uh, burning a bath. You can mirror force them. They should get shit to get to that. But at least their shit will be mostly open for you to, you know, get more damage in, you know, and protect your own shit. So, mirror force. Uh, extra deck. I like the two Delta Rouse. Definitely the three Triver. Triver, Triver, Triver. If I can go Triver, 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 eventually uh, enough Triver bouncing backs and poking you, I'll win the duel. Um, I'm running two Diamond because I saw some people running two Diamond, but I'll probably cut it down to one. I'm not sure. Uh, you, like I said, that's why I'm doing this, so you guys can go ahead and help me. Exiton, uh, two Castell, I don't know why these two are next to each other. Uh, Bujinte, Tsukiyomi, I was testing this, I was testing this. I saw some deck of them, and they are like, well, you know, it helps you get to your cards, other cards faster, and you can go ahead and... I never really liked it. I don't like the idea of just, you know, pitching a card, and sometimes I do have way too much shit in my hand, so I'll probably take this out. Like I said, Crazy Box is a pretty decent measure up against Unicorn, you know, so maybe I'll put that in there. Dweller, it's good, Cowboy, I'll chain and Emerald. Alright people, so uh, that's pretty much it, that's the quick deck profile, a little bit more competitive Teller Knights, so if you guys want to go ahead and help me uh, with this deck in the comment section below, go ahead and make suggestions and we can go ahead and work this deck out so I can finish making it and then maybe, you know, take it down to college, duel some people, record some videos and then maybe one of these days go down to like the other side of town with uh, my friends and, you know, duel at a tournament, I don't know. Like I said, this this ban list was so good that maybe it, uh, maybe I'm back in the Yu-Gi-Oh. I don't know. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Daily Duels. So thanks for watching, thanks for all the support, and I will see you guys tomorrow with uh, updated cleats up to the April 2015 TCG ban list. All right, people, thanks for watching.